Hello, and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of December 17th, 2020. Today I'm trying a different format on my program, so please let me know if you enjoyed it or not. Uh, just let me know my comments. But without any further ado, let's hop on to what's happening. So far, we've had two healthcare workers in Alaska that have tried the um, COVID-19 vaccine, and both of them have actually had severe allergic reactions to it. Both healthcare workers have actually been treated and are expected to have a full recovery. So good for them. And Trump officially supports the um, infecting millions with COVID-19 to test out the herd immunity theory. And on a different topic, when it comes to Trump, it turns out his own neighbors in his own neighborhood where he lives don't want him to come back after his chaotic run of presidency. And when it comes to Atlantic City, they're holding an auction for the highest bidder to basically blow up Trump's casino there. And 50 years of studies show that tax cuts for the rich confirm the trickle-down theory is a complete sham. And Joe Biden picked Deb Heland as the first Native American to lead the Department of Interior. Good for her. And he also nominated Michael S. Regan as the first black man to head over the Environmental Protection Agency. Keep going, Biden. You're on a roll, buddy. And now to cover what is on the stimulus news. Now, um, we're going to talk about what's going on with the $900 billion stimulus deal. So, basically, the fresh information on this is about the unemployment and the stimulus checks in the deal. And, uh, and uh, for your adult dependents out there, they might want to stay tuned to this as well because they might find this interesting. I mean, there are still issues holding up the stimulus package, and, but the good news is it doesn't sound like any of these issues will stall or kill this deal. A sticking point is a state and local government funding because Republicans accuse the Democrats of trying to sneak the state and, gov state and local government funding into the stimulus package via the FEMA Disaster Relief Fund. And as they reported yesterday that they wanted to cut the um, extension of unemployment from 16 weeks to 12 weeks, well now they want to cut it even further. They want to cut the extension of unemployment from 12 weeks down to 10 weeks. So basically that would be you'd be getting $300 a week for 10 weeks. That's about it. So about two and a half months. With nothing retroactive. Isn't that nice? Republicans in the Senate say, says that he wants to make those who... Uh, remember, remember second uh, number two Republican John Thune said that he wants to make it so those people that are on unemployment are ineligible for a second stimulus check. Well, the Democrats have rejected this idea, and as far as stimulus checks go, it would be six hundred dollars per adult and six hundred dollars for a dependent. And as you notice, I didn't say per child, because the Washington Post reported that adult dependents can be claimed on the stimulus check as well because they'll be eligible to receive a check. So basically, good for adult dependents. And this next round of stimulus checks will have the same limit restrictions as the did in the CARES Act where $75,000 per adult, $150,000 for married couples, and if you're in over $99,000, basically your stimulus check will basically slowly disappear. So on the stimulus check front, so far everything is going good. I mean, as you as you can see from the picture I have up here, that Nancy Pelosi and Mr. Connell are actually having good relations. And on the COVID nineteen news, um, our infection rate and our hospitalizations and fatalities are rising at a skyrocketing amount. They say yesterday's records were actually the highest recorded so far. So until then, you guys have a wonderful evening. Please stay safe and remember, we're all in this together because it was all we got as each other. Till then, have a wonderful night. Bye.